all right guys welcome to one more uh, azure uh, business tutorial today i'll be showing how to configure a backup for a virtual machine in in classic portal as well as in the new portal so uh, we have uh, two portals opened and under virtual machines have uh, my already vm workload one server is is listed and same here under the new portal virtual machine classic okay because it was created under the uh, using classic portal all right so the first requirement to create a backup is you have to create a a, a storage uh, backup vault okay so click on storage account so um, recovery services click on backup vault click create create uh, backup vault 001 so whatever you can select okay click on uh, backup all 01 so it's creating all right and if i come here and yeah, let's go back here so it's still uh, creating the settings cancel so no, this is not the one so go back here and uh, back up and recovery uh, okay so it successfully created so um, click on this and uh, so we can create it click on recovery services so this is the backup vault on the backup vault so here we have uh, dashboard registered items protected items configure policies and jobs okay so this is where you're actually configure your uh, the backup so here there is a, a, a two-step procedure okay so uh, you need to download the the vault credentials that you will be using the agent installation to register the server in the vault okay and uh, you can download if you click on download vault credentials it will download it will download the file in this format okay so which you need to copy onto the server and then register it and you can also install the agents okay along with that you have to install the microsoft azure backup agent this is for the on-prem workloads what i'm saying okay if you have a server on on-prem then this is the procedure you have to install the agent and you will but however look at the current server is under Azure okay is already moved from on-prem to Azure so here we are only configuring the backups for the virtual machines which are there under Microsoft Azure so for that again go to the backup vault click on register items so it will show Azure virtual machine type and Windows server so Azure virtual machine is nothing but the, the server which is listed under your uh, virtual machine classic or the virtual machines okay click on register so it is not showing the reason why you have to click on discover button here below click on discover it will discover the new items it will fetch or retrieve all the list of servers that are there under your subscription the VM the virtual machine workloads so it discovered a virtual machine okay and uh, click on register now it's not showing still it will it will. So successfully discovered virtual machine in the region West US. Please register a virtual machine to a vault of the same region. So if you're creating your backup vault under a different region so it is not you cannot backup there so uh, the virtual machine and your 
backup wall should be created using a same region so let's see what we created here so we created westus and uh, where is the virtual machine it's in west europe so that's the reason why it is not showing but it detected so what we're going to do is so we will go ahead and create one more backup vault okay new backup vault quick create west europe backup vault 002 it will take a yeah hardly a minute So we come here so um, you click on refresh so um, click on add the same thing we can do here the new portal once we uh, finish and the old portal will come back here I guess it's still creating yeah it's done so let's click on here and uh, click on this one so Go back, click on discover. It's uh, discovering. All right, so um, successfully discovered virtual machine in the region. Please register the virtual machines to a vault of the same region. Click on OK. Click on now register. See, it is showing the server which is there now. So click on OK. All right. So the server has been the VM has been registered now. If you go to the protected items, it will show under your uh, click on protect. Yeah. Let's give me a second. Okay. So now it is showing. It's still registering. Okay. The portal sometimes, you know, it's it, it going to refresh, you know, a, a bit slowly. So we need to sync up with the portal sometimes. And for the on-prem server, it will be showing under the Windows server list. As of now, we don't have anything. So uh, yeah, it will not show up anything. Okay. Let me make sure as I informed, uh, so you need to install the agent and uh, register the wall using the vault, credential, uh, vault uh, credentials. I'll be showing that exercise in our next uh, session. All right, so click on protected items now. Click on protect. So you can select which items to product. So I've selected the complete server here. All right, so uh, we need to create a policy, a new policy name my uh, daily daily at what time i want to run i'll prefer to go to uh, at uh, 9 30 pm after the business hours you can select the maximum so i think it's already there's some 6 a.m got selected uncheck that one so there are limitations here guys you need to understand because you can only select uh, only one schedule per policy so my daily click on uh, next so daily retention you can select uh, depend upon the customer it's 180 days or and the weekly retention monthly retention and the yearly retention okay so i'm just going with the default but however you need to uh, gather all this information from the customer environment uh, depending upon their existing backup uh, i mean uh, retention policies all right so uh, so it's created and uh, so um, click on policies see it's showing uh, my daily uh, the one we created and if you don't want the default one you can go ahead and delete this one or you can rename this one to a different one i will just go for weekly and i'll select a weekly one here 10 pm the same thing daily retention will you select click on save yes Okay, sorry, retention on uh, 
Sunday. So it will come. So now it will be showing uh, as uh, two policies, guys. Okay. So if I click on here, so we got weekly and do this thing, and you can also create a similar uh, policy, policy type Azure, and a policy name yearly, and a frequency C. But here it is not showing. So the limitation for the backup policy is you can only create daily and weekly, not an yearly backup policy. All right. So and the jobs currently so we have uh, you can uh, this is this is where it will show your report kind of thing you can uh, summarize the report and export the jobs here and the configure if we have any uh, redundancy selected the locally or geo then it will show here okay so there is a, a restriction after the registration or if you register to a vault the server the replication choice cannot be uh, changed so this is the dashboard overview it's showing so currently we have one azure virtual machine protected and total storage consumed is zero and successful jobs is two and currently jobs is in progress all right so uh, windows uh, service register cloud is the on-prem service uh, to cloud and uh, so you can also download the agent here and you can install it okay for the on-prem service so this is how guys you will uh, configure uh, uh, the backup so uh, let's quickly uh, show you so first we created a under the recovery services we created a backup vault and uh, we selected the same region as uh, we got uh, the virtual machine is located and once that is done, uh, we uh, registered the uh, vault by uh, uh, discovering and then registering. And then we selected uh, the items which we need to protect. In virtual machines, we don't have an option to backup files and folders. Okay, but however, if you're installing agent on the on-prem server, you will get an option to backup files and folders. But here it is completely a snapshot kind of a thing of your virtual machine completely. Okay. So it says the initial uh, backup pending. So replication we see and the under we created a my daily and weekly policies and it will show the, the jobs just kind of a, a kind of a, a reports. All right, so if you have any queries on this, how to create a backup, so you can just use the, uh, the comment section and stay tuned for more Azure uh, beginner tutorials like uh, how to install the backup agent and how to uh, back up an on-prem server i'll show you in my next session okay thank you so much and have a nice day guys bye for now